Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I actually slept really well last night. Um, I've done very much meditation and uh, I've come to peace with a lot of things. Um, mostly, you know, what I can do things about and what I cannot do anything about. What I can do things about is myself and my life and my... Um, my feelings and I can take the responsibility that I can take. I can never take someone else's responsibility. So I can just actually give up on that. And that has given me a peace in mind and I feel, um, I feel not happy, you know, because it's still a big grief in my heart and, uh, and wishful thinking, you know, that we'll find a way back together because I love both, you know, my ex-boyfriend and his children. Uh, but, um, you know, if that's not gonna work out, I also, I also have my stuff and I'll be fine. And the only thing I can focus on right now is that. And um, yeah, actually like through meditation, that's happened to me. So I've done a lot of meditation with the crystal and a citron and um, I never know what crystal, I haven't meditated with a citron before, but that has like chosen me right now. And, uh, and it's been taking away the anxiety and the pain that I had in my chest that made me like so restless and not able to sleep. And um, I'm very grateful for that. Um, yeah, so I'm very, very grateful for a good night's sleep. I'm also very grateful for the work I've had this week. I think, uh, for keeping you know somewhat san sanity in, uh, for keeping sane you know for the last week I needed that job and uh, and I feel extremely grateful for that it's over now unfortunately I hope uh, more of that will come um, I am also very grateful for um, for all the work I've done to myself uh, I think I have an understanding of uh, my ex-boyfriend thanks to all the work I've done to myself because I was also very frightened before. I tried to, f to run away from my life, you know. Um, I did that with alcohol and drugs, but you know, a lot of, a lot of people out there do that uh, in other ways. It can be dating, it can be um, food, it can be a silence, it can be a sports. It, it, we all have our, our ways and um, and I know that it's very, very scary to to meet your biggest fears, you know, and uh, for me it took a lot of pain to get there, to get to the facing part. Uh, a lot of pain and a lot of abuse of myself. And I don't wish that off on anyone else. Uh, I wish I wish for all people to to find the courage and meet themselves and um, way earlier than I did and uh, and way beyond, you know, having to suffer the way I did. But I also realized that the, the courage, a lot of people lack courage. Um, we want to, to just take the easy route, you know, because it's way more comfortable. And that, that's never been my, my route. And uh, I, sometimes I'm jealous of these people. I wish I could be like them. But I, I have slowly accepted that I need to be honest with myself. I need to live an honest life. I need to, to have, um, you know, my, um, I need to be me, you know? I can't pretend, I can't pretend that things are good. I can't pretend that things hasn't happened. I can't pretend that I didn't see, you know, that uh, thing going on. Like, it's too painful uh, and it's, not interesting for me. I need re real stuff. Uh, I'd rather be in something real that is painful than something pa fake that is is easier to go through at the moment. Um, that's why I cry a lot and uh, stay in the pain and uh, and also why I speak a lot because that's how I digest things. I um, I need to speak things through, you know, and I need to understand other people's. Uh, um, view and I need to understand that very often I am locked up in my own loops in my mind like in my program of recovery you know the big saying is don't pick up the first drink but then I was in a meeting in New York and there's like some old timer who told me like not me he was sharing in the meeting and he's like 
don't pick up your first thing. And that's really getting to me, you know, often, you know, because when I'm caught up in my own thinking, that's when I do most damage to myself. So we are going uh, to do um, a spring yoga class today because in Sweden, normally when it's not the COVID-19 outbreak, today we light fires and we welcome spring. Uh, so it's a big celebration here, but unfortunately everything is cancelled. So I, I might go out and do a, a fire with a friend later on tonight. So I've rested and, uh, and I feel ready for an adventure tonight. But um, now we're going to do a little bit of a spring yoga where we like, you know, invite the light, invite the good vibes and, um, and you know, close doors, you know, to, to bad habits and, and the, invite the new things in. The, the summer is approaching and even if we're going to be locked down, you know, or up, we can enjoy the sun, you know, from wherever we are. If it's a balcony or a window or a garden or, or a park, you know, we can find ways of enjoying it. And um, that gives me hope in these times because I'm so tired of this as holy virus that is not giving us a break um yeah today it's a lot to speak about like my grandmother also had a stroke today and she was unconscious uh for a while but and we i was really worried that i lose her um my grandmother on my father's side i lost my grandmother on my mother's side in, in december but she's uh, she's okay. She's much better, and uh, and she remembered me. I, I like my father said hello from me when he was there, and then she was saying hi back, and so it was a bit of a, a you know devastating day to start with, but then it kind of changed direction. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get down on our sitting bones and close our eyes. Focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye, looking in. Observe your breathing and where it's located in your body. We're gonna start taking control over our breath. On the inhalation, fill up your belly is expanding and then the chest. So first fill up your belly and then let your chest follow. Exhale, drag your belly button towards the spine. Beautiful, we're gonna do the breath of fire and we do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and fast. Inhale to start. Beautiful, now we're gonna do the hip row, inhale forward.
and we're gonna switch the mixture. Place your hands straight underneath your shoulders, place your knees straight underneath your hips. On the inhalation, come forward with your belly, look how cool this is. Exhale, down. In. Exhale. Inhale. Stop in neutral position. We're gonna tuck our toes and come down here. From here, we're gonna push our hips forward and see if we can reach down to our heels. Otherwise, you just continue here. If you feel flexible, you work here. And on every inhalation, invite this up. On the exhalation, breathe out the darkness. We're gonna come up and come to child's pose. You stay in child's pose. Beautiful. Continue in child's pose. Take some breaths here. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find an inner room where you can spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come, it's only you in this moment. Slowly come back to the room where you are. We're going to finish 
place close together with three shanti, place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to start. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Place your palms to your forehead to the pink good thoughts through the day, to your mouth for you to speak the truth, and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Thank you so much for today. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to go out there and give. Bye.